Hi, this is Spencer. I'm doing a SolidWorks tutorial for how to set up drawings. Once in SolidWorks, Control O to open. I'm going to be showing you how to draw our wheel adapter. It is to convert the gravity hub to the DWT wheel. So open this up. Once you have everything drawn, make sure your material is specified. It's just a nice thing to know. Control 1 through Control 7 gives you all these views ending with isometric. It's great. So to make a drawing from this part, you go to file and say make drawing from part. First, make sure you have the Baja drawing sheet, which is on Google Drive under drawings. Here it is. Audi made this. Thank you, Audi. Back to SolidWorks, file, make drawing from part. Say OK there. Here's all the built-in sheets. We were going to browse for the one that Audi made. Put that under Baja drawings. All right, here you see on the right the options for what you can drag in first. We're going to draw and just drag in just the front drawing. Take the mouse off to the side. It will show you other views, including isometrics if you want. But it does not seem to give you a back view. So I'm going to say OK here. If you want the back view, right click, go to Drawing Views, Model, select the model you want, and then select back here, put it over here. To set up the sheet, right click, Edit Sheet Format, put in the necessary information, Gravely Hub Adapter. Fill in your tolerance, material, who drew it, any comments, the way it's always nice, your revision, exit the sheet. Now into system options to make sure your document properties are set up, we want to go to ANSI. This uh, auto aligns many of the dimensions, which is nice. Go to units, go to the units you need, specify your decimal precision if you want to. So now once here, say you, you're going to machine something like this by hand on a mill, you may want to, once it's in the vise clamped here and here, maybe you, you want to go off the center so that you have half the dimensions. So we're going to set up an ordinate by going to more dimensions and set up a vertical ordinate. And so we'll set that up off the middle. So I click once and then I'm not holding the mouse button or anything. Click again, and from there, once this ordinate is set up, anywhere you click, it will just measure from there. And see how it auto-aligned here. That's a nice, nice feature of the ANSI. Go ahead, right-click again, more dimensions, set up our horizontal ordinate. We could go off the middle again, or we could go off the side. Maybe you have this in, and there's a vice clamp. So click here, anywhere you want dimension, it's all automatic. For dimensioning holes, I was just doing regular dimensioning. This gives you the diameter. If you wanted more precision, come over here. Select your precision. If you want to say times four, add it right here in dimension text. Again, for this guy, as you can see, these yellow lines automatically line up with stuff. That's kind of nice. Snapping is good most of the time. Override times four. For the big circle, since it's a partial, it's going to give you a dimension in radius. If you don't want radius, then you come over here, go to leaders, and there's this option to do diameter. I kind of like diameter. Say OK. Regular smart dimension, the widths of other things. Anything you want, you know, you want to keep this easy to read, obviously. Here's another circle. I think you get the idea by now in terms of saving. Just regular save. I'm going to save this in drawings. If you want to save it as a PDF to upload it to the drive or to give to the laser jet cutters, it's all good. Here's PDF. Fill it right into SolidWorks. And that is the tutorial for now.